dominant performance inside for Milwaukee, outscoring Boston by 14 in the pain. Welcome to Playoff Central Live, presented by AT&T 5G. Bucks get a win on the road in the first game of the second round of this postseason. Brendan, for Milwaukee to come in and for Giannis to put up 24, 13, and 12, what does that tell you about what the Bucks did and how they were able to be dominant? Well, Giannis is always going to be Donovan. I think right now we don't. there's no question he's the best player in the game. But on the flip side, if I'm Boston, I'm kind of happy with the way I played him from a defensive standpoint. Giannis got 24 points, but he was 9 of 25. He wasn't efficient doing it. We saw how this Boston defense was able to affect Kevin Durant and make him look off his game on many a night. Same thing was done here tonight with Giannis. If I'm Boston, the problem wasn't that Giannis got his 24 points. We did our job. The problem was Boston offensively, they never could get it going. The Bucks defense truly elite, looked great tonight. Brown, Smart, Tatum, all those guys shot poor percentages from the field. The story is going to be, for me, the Bucks defense. Even though Giannis is great, but the story is going to be what the Bucks did collectively as a whole on the defensive end. Speaking to that point, there's a stat for that, Brendan. 28 fast break points by the Bucks. Like you said, great defense on Giannis, forcing him to be inefficient from the field. But on the flip side of that, Bucks got out and ran. How did they, uh, how were they able to do that against Boston? It's a direct correlation to the defense. If you get turnovers, if you get stops, you know what that means? You get to run out on defense. And you see right here, look at the defense stifling. That was a layup in the last series. Now they're getting out in transition. Drew Holiday knocks down the easy three. Boston is not back. Once again, look at the defense. Bobby Portis up at the level. Hands on balls, active. Gets it out in transition. Al Horford doesn't stop the ball. Bobby goes right to the basket right there. Once again, good defense translating to better offense. As you see, the Milwaukee Bucks really, really active. Two to three guys are rotating, and now we see another three in transition. And that's what it's all about. Look how active they are swarming to the paint. You just can't let guys be one-on-one -on -one in the paint. Your bigs got to come over there and help. And then once you get that stop, get out in transition as Wesley Matthews hits the three. And that has been the story of the game. For the, that was the story for the game and of these clips and highlights. All you see is swarming hands and activity on defense, getting out in transitioning, leading to wide-open shots and layups. That's what it is all about. Once again, now, look, look right there. Jason Tatum has a layup. Defense comes from the weak side, gets the steal. Drew Holiday pulls up big-time style right there, knocks it down. Brad Stevens likes it. He doesn't need to see anymore. He, he understands right now they, got, they have some work to do in Boston. But I really love the way they, they, they play defensively. Defensively, yeah. it was an absolute clinic. When one person drove, the weak side was right where they needed to be. And it's what we talk about, assi defensive assignment basketball. And when you play well like that and you're connected defensively, it normally leads to good things the other way. There's another stat that backs up what you're saying, and that's the three-point attempts. You think, oh, yeah, well, some teams like to shoot more threes. That's not really the case. For the Milwaukee Bucks, they like to give up open threes. And for the Celtics' new franchise record, they took – 53 point attempts and those clips you just showed it was all Bucks defense interior uh, leading to fast break opportunities how critical was it for the Bucks to have their defensive game plan and for the Celtics to shoot too many threes well that's what the Bucks do the Bucks don't mind you shooting threes they, they, they want to make sure that you shoot certain types of threes they want to take away the corner three and they want to make sure they get certain guys shooting the three they don't want to see your best shooters wide open but they don't mind giving up some threes as long as they're able to shut down that paint and that's why you saw so many turnovers from Boston every time Boston went down that lane and tried to get down there whether it was Brooke Lopez Giannis Bobby Portis somebody they were actively rotating they were getting their hands on loose balls and they were forcing turnovers and that way they were able to spark their transition game yeah, it's crazy. Boston Celtics made just 10 shots inside of the arc, just one shy of the franchise uh, playoff low, where it was nine.